right atrial overload is manifest as tall P waves in lead 2 and left ventricular hypertrophy with strain pattern is seen in lateral leads with tall R waves, ST segment depression and T wave inversion. The axis is leftward with predominantly negative QRS in leads 3 and AVF. The biphasic P wave in V1 with sharp atrial intrinsic cord deflection. The sharp downward deflection from the peak of the P wave to the trough of the P wave is a pseudo left atrial overload pattern seen in right atrial overload. In true left atrial overload, the atrial intrinsic cord deflection is more slanting so that the negative component of the P wave is almost U-shaped rather than the V-shape in this case. All these features together in a cyanotic congenital heart disease is characteristic of tricuspid atresia.